How's everyone doing and welcome to a, another video and today's video is going to be the one where I will be going to the woodshed. So what we're going to do here, I'm currently at Upton train station. Just wanted to show you about around the train station. This is the station in between the Nocturum and the woodshed. So it's just a rail track along with the M53 motorway, so that's what separates the two estates. So I almost forgot the deliver in the bit. Look at the state of that. I mean, come on, there's no use, there's no need for it, is there? That's all. Anyway, so yeah, so again, we're going to the woods here. So I just wanted to show you the station. So it's for North Wales, goes up right the way through to Wrexham Central. And if you go into the opposite direction, you go through Heswell and Bidston. So it's not a very popular train station, but it's it's very handy. Especially if you want to get to North Wales and not drive up there. Okay, so that's up the train station. So let's go. Let's make our way towards the Woodchurch Estates and see what the situation is. So, on the fender path once more, walk me towards that tunnel I showed you in my last video. And on the right of me, there's a stream, which, since I was last year, if you look closely down there, I used to be able to get down there and have a mess about. All these bushes never used to be like this. It's definitely, it's overgrown so much since I was last year. It used to be like a tunnel. You just look down there. So you could get, well, I could get down there now, but if you get down there, you need to, I'll just show you. It's quite steep. It's quite steep. I'm going to slip on my arse. Yeah, it's all that stuff now. It's, it's like wire. Which can't get past. Shy. I'll do it for the video. Get down. Show ya. Mm. What looks like? I remember this being like tunnel. We used to have a roof. It's just thing like it now. I used to play in it as a kid. But yeah, that's that for you. That's all sewage. That's all that. Nice. Let's get back up now. Goes down, let's go back up. That's where they pop out and someone and shit themselves. No one around. So yeah, when I was younger, I used to go to Ridge Ray High School and that's all. I used to bunk off school and used to go. So where you used to go. So, as I said before, I've never been on the woodshed to walk around. I've only ever drove through it. But I do know there's a, a Tramia Rovers Memorial, like on the side of a house, and it looks really good. Similar to the ones in Liverpool, like Trent Alexander Arnold and Jürgen Klopp. So, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. So, that's going to be my mission for today on the woodshed. As well as getting down a few back streets, I want to show you that memorial. It's a decent memorial. 
Who remembers eating these as a kid in the playground? Used to pick them and eat them. I do, especially the red ones, it's like the red ones. And that's without giving them a wash now. I won't do it today. So that's the bridge. I went over in my last video. And then that's all in the video. i show you these parts on the bike. Yeah. So this time, once we do get to the railings, it's across the stream, that little bridge. I'm gonna go through the tunnel and we'll be on the wood church. That's. I wonder how that got there, trolley. Looks like it's been there for years. Someone's actually gone to the effort of throwing trolley over the railings. I do remember also as a kid, if you go further off this, this path, like I'm going to be turning right soon, if you go further up, it used to be easy access to the rail track. And I remember sticking one pound coins, 50p coins, 20p coins on the track. And when full trains passed, we used to flatten the coins. So it used to be like a little souvenir back when I was younger. Don't have any now. At the time, I, we used to rake them up. Me and my mates used to rake them up and just pay how many we had. It, it looked the best with a two pound coin. Just coming up to the railings now, on the same right, head towards the tunnel. And I'll be officially on the wood church. Let's see how this goes. Let's see what the situation is. So I'm in the song. Bit of graffiti for you there on the entrance. Emily is fit. Amelia had M1 surgery. Wow. Goose. Hey. <laughs> Fat bum. Says there. What else should we have? And do you guess what that's supposed to be a picture of? Add me. Oh, people put their Snapchats maybe. Instagrams. No answers. Okay. Griffiths is my BSF. Okay. Quite an interesting tunnel. Because this is just a tunnel. Yeah. So obviously that's not so many state boot boys. And uh, what are you state boot boys? God knows, like how long have all this feasy been on here? Years, it's been so long. Isn't it? Maisie W is okay. Maisie W is probably in the sixties now. Seventies on the deathbed. Ah, yeah. Eat my shit. Neb, one, seven. So yeah, so that was the, the tunnel underneath the M53 to get up into the wood church, off the fender way. Okay, and this is where we've ended up, this field. And I'm pretty sure building over there, just zoom in a bit, it's abandoned now, oh, it's empty. So the building over there, there used to be a swimming centre. When I was in primary school, this is where we used to come for our lessons. Our swimming lessons. Football pitch. Besides it, that's still our greats. This has got a little community club building, just a bit further on. See just after the football pitches. So that the roof, white roof there, that's open. And obviously that's the building for these pitches. So where those football pitches are, there used to be a like a racetrack, like Olympic racetrack, hence the stands. 
So we used, people used to come here to do the sports day, the racetrack. Well, if you just look there, a little stand. People used to use to watch whatever was going on there. So this is the building. I'm not going to try and get in. Because I would definitely get caught. So here we are. I remember as a kid going through this entrance. All excited to go swimming. There's a football pitch. Played football on before. With the Ridgeway High School versus the Woodchurch. Fond memories of that rivalry. There's the high rise, which you will be having a look at. We'll get up close and see what the surrounding areas look like. There's actually no way anyone could attempt to get into this building. Keep out, warning, unsafe structure. Look at all this glass on the floor. Now that's dangerous. But I suppose a lot of people don't venture here, yeah, do they? You know what I mean? So there's a car park over there. Look at this little caravan home over here. Looks like something out here, even. You can see it just before the high rise. Sal blocks. If someone lives in that, also, and if they do, they got permission to do that. Right, so let's get into some back streets on the wood chairs and let's see what the situation is. See, this sign says here, like what is the feel? Not much more to it, but I'm guessing. Uh, does not surprise me based on what you've just seen through the tunnel. It's just talking about letting the land grow, the grass grow for the wildlife. How much is that kid seeing the window? Ruff, ruff, the one with the waggly tail. Nice little 90s camper van. Which has seen better days, a bit of rust on it. But, probably does the job, doesn't it? Does the trick. Some probably inside of it. A random caravan, parked in grass there. Must be their area there. Private land. Just walking down this back street now. See what's going on. Situations. Not much going on, really. Quite quiet. Not much going on at all. Nice little field here. Again, not much litter. The odd. Plastic bottle like that, but that's the same anyway. Other than that, it's relatively tidy from what I've seen so far. There you go, there's a bin with a litter. No hard to use. We've got litter, get rid of it. Don't just throw it on the floor in the street. I'm actually here at the moment. Presently surprised with how like tidy the place looks. Doesn't look bad at all. Hardly any mess. Or the house is all in good nick and so forth. Gardens relatively neat. Let's go and have a look at this chapel. Over here. Let's see what's popping up. Not sure which way it needs to go to get in. It's the grounds. Go this way downhill on the pavements. It's 
So that's the church over there, my chapel. I must have came the wrong way to get onto, to get through the gates of the entrance to the chapel. Instead I turned left, turned right down this hill here. But to be honest with you, I never liked graveyards. So yeah, I'd rather not. Now I can see all the gravestones. I'd rather not go on the site. Zoom in a bit for you. Get a better view. There's the grave stones. Chapel just behind it. A few trees in the way like, but you get the gist. There you go. Oh wow, look at that one bent over. So as I say, I've never walked around the woodshed before, so I don't have a clue where I'm going. But on the left, chapel. So I'm just going to go around it and see where I end up. Got more residential houses. So I'm just on the top of the estates at the moment, next to the Arrow Park Hospital. And again, all these houses around here, all in good nick. The streets are clean. Houses, the gardens, clean. There's not much I can say about it, really. It is a good thing in some ways. Nothing negative to say about it. But I will head towards probably the roughest part of the estate, which is around the shops in the middle of the estate. I also want to find a pub. I do believe there is one pub on the estate. There's also one on the outside of it. So it's what everyone I've come to first. Still looking for the memorial as well, which is definitely not up here. Let's eat the junk. Who someone lives in that garden? Does somebody live in the house? It's a lot of junk. Now I'm just walking through this high rise building. So this tower block in front of me was built in the 60s, I believe. So we'll go and see what the situation is near the entrance. Someone's garden. There's a yard outside that. A bit messy in the garden, but otherwise, it's quite a well kept place. So that was the Arrow Park pub, it's outside the Wood Church. Look, that was a hungry horse as well, so we've all seen how a, what a hungry horse pub. It wasn't dingy, a bit tiny, a bit boring. I mean like dingy pubs in this town. So I'm just approaching the so-called roughest area in the Wood Church by all the shops. I say all the shops, just the road shops on the estate. So let's, let's go over there and we'll see what the situation is. So we're in the vicinity of the roughest area in the wood church. It's not too bad. This is the roughest area down. Do you know what I mean? It looks like this. It's not really that rough. Check out these benches. This is the place where we stop and think of all our friends and loved ones who have passed away. There's just a few benches, benches that you can't get to. Which is 
quite nice for a reason. It's the power itself side of the house over there. I think that's as bad as it gets, little wise. This is from what I've seen anyway. I have been walking around the whole church for about two hours. It's not even that bad. Again, this reputation comes off, same with the Nocturne. It all comes from the, the 80s. Because when I thought the state's probably going to be the same. Because these three states have had a lot of de developments in the early 2000s. Nice little trolley. Second trolley I've seen today. I literally have no idea where this Shamir Rovers memorial is because I just don't know. So, what can I say if I can't find it? So, my final verdict on the Woodchurch Estates. Really not that bad at all. Looks a bit boring. The streets are relatively clean. It's not much to do, it seems, like a lot of estates. But it's not what I expected. It's a lot cleaner. A lot of the houses are all well kept. So yeah. So again, my final verdict. It looks it looks doesn't look bad at all. Looks good. Looks alright. So join me for the next video when I'll be going to the four other states to do the exact same thing have a look around and see what the situation is there so i'll see you for that one